Hey there, YouTube. I haven't talked to you guys probably in what, maybe a week and a half. I apologize, but I've been pretty busy. And what I'm doing today, I'm in my den. And I'm going to do today some self-care because I stood on my leg for so long um, working last night that um, my knee is hurting really bad. Um, as you guys can see, see that? Yeah, not so good. But actually, I used my pain cream and my pain oil. I also have been detoxing doing today totally inflammation drinks. Uh, and it took probably about an hour and a half and I'm probably 85% back to normal. Um, <clears throat> um, but what I wanted to talk to you guys today about is because summertime is about to hit, springtime is about to come and we're going to start going to barbecues and uh, going to the beaches where we are um, eating different foods and trying new foods and new drinks and things like that. And sometimes we get food poisoning. Sometimes we get a tummy ache. Sometimes we get things that we get different bugs in our bodies. We know that a lot of restaurants are opening back up now. So what's going to happen um, now, you're going to get, and this is just, this is just reality. You know, I speak, I'm a realist. You're going to go to some restaurants where you're going to have some people fixing your food, prepping your food, preparing your food, serving your food. And some of those people actually go to the bathroom and have bowel movements and they do not wash their hands. They come back to the tables. They come back to preparing your food in some, some of these restaurants. And now they're preparing your food after they have urinated and had a bowel movement. And now you have that in your food. So with that being said, sometimes we're going to have certain parasites that enter our bodies from someone's hands you must know how to get it out and get it out immediately. You must know how to know what you have. So I'm going to give you some symptoms of when you get a parasite from someone that is not washing their hands, having a bowel movement, and now it has gotten into your food on your plate and now down inside your belly. And now you have a parasite, okay? The warning signs of that and what to look out for is very nauseous, dizzy. Um, you can't throw it up and you cannot have a bowel movement to get it out. You will probably be sick for about four or five days. You're going to feel like you have probably died, literally. Um, that's something that if you don't know what to do, that's something that's going to have to just wear off or it is going to become worse. Or it is going to become worse. But I'm here today to tell you how to get that parasite, how to get that food poisoning and that parasite poisoning out of the body. The first thing that I had went over with uh, some of my classes, well, a few of the, um, the, well, not the few, but the class that I had with someone who had food poisoning, uh, in their family and the entire family got it but uh, I had a class on that as well but I'm going to share with you some of the things that I got that I shared with them and it helped them uh, and it has helped me uh, I had food poisoning myself probably about I would say my son is almost 17 he was three years old when I had food poisoning um, but here are some things that can really help you, and it, it will help you. It's, it's going to help you. But when you feel that you have food poisoning, activated charcoal will be your friend. 
activated charcoal what it does it goes inside of the body inside of the stomach inside of the colon and it actually is a magnet for all um uh f for anything that should not be inside the belly all parasites um uh, different chemicals that's inside the body um, anything that's negative inside the body activated charcoal will absorb it activated charcoal acts as a magnet to all bad things that's inside the body so activated charcoal is good when you start having the diarrhea uh, intestinal gas It's also a water filtration it helps the water filtrate in the body the way it's supposed to now here's the dosages for an adult you should have uh one dose only of activated charcoal 50 to 100 milligrams and that's it children 1 through 12 25 to 50 grams only one time that's it only one time um i suggest uh that for starters uh and after you do that Let's just say if you're still having a few issues, uh, garlic. Garlic is great for diarrhea. Uh, it's also um, great for pain, and it also kills. Um, it, it it's all it, garlic will also start to kill off the fungus inside of the uh, colon uh, and the stomach. Okay. Um, Let's see, basil leaves. Basil leaves are good for pain because sometimes with food poisoning, you, you have stomach pains. Uh, turmeric. Turmeric, I would say a half a tablespoon with one full glass of distilled water. It will help whatever is in there to try to digest so that you can get it out. Now, you may throw up or you may poop it out, but whichever way it is, you want it out, Okay. Uh, and also the turmeric will help the inflammation inside of the belly because if you have food poisoning, you're going to have some inflammation that you, you can't get around that. Fenugreek, fenugreek powder or fenugreek seeds, however you can get the fenugreek, that will help with the stomach cramps, the pain, and it will help the food digest and it will help the poisons digest so you can get it out. Manuka honey, manuka honey and oil of oregano you want to do manuka honey in a spoon. You want to take one drop to two drops of oil of oregano. Put it on that manuka honey and swallow it down three times a day. What that's going to do, that's going to control excessive production of the acid inside the belly. That's going to control um, the parasites. It's going to kill off the parasites. Because see, when you get food poisoning, if you get a parasite inside the body from food poisoning... There's not a antibiotic in this world that's going to kill off of that because those parasites, they thrive off of um, uh, pharmaceutical antibiotics. They do. What it does is the parasite just goes to sleep, okay? Just like chemotherapy puts cancer to sleep, but it does not kill cancer. So that antibiotic that they're going to give you for food poisoning is just going to put that parasite to sleep. But here's the kicker. It's going to come back because that parasite has now birthed other baby parasites inside of the body. So you want to have the manuka honey in a in a spoon, okay? You want to drop one to two drops of oil of oregano on that. Swallow it. Just swallow it down three times a day. The manuka honey, like I said, manuka honey controls the excessive production of acid in the belly. Too much acid in the belly will help the parasites birth, okay? After the baby, after the mama parasite has put her babies inside of you, the over acid inside the belly will help those baby parasites give birth. So now you wonder maybe what, six months, eight months later, you got this stomach ache again. Now it has went into something else. Now you have all these other diseases. This is why. Because the pharmaceutical um, antibiotic that you took could not, cannot ever kill off 
baby parasites, okay? We have to know how to kill the eggs. I'll put it that way. You have, we have to kill the eggs. And there's nothing on earth that can kill it but a plant. That's all of oregano and manuka honey, okay? You can even take that mixture and rub it on uh, if you have um, MRSA, if you have eczema, that is the best antibiotic on the earth. It's powerful, but it's not overwhelming. It's not going to give you any side effects. You can also take a little bit of that, put it in a little warm water and make a tea out of it. Sip it down. All of oregano is very, very strong. This is why I suggest one to two drops, two to three times a day. Um, that is what is going to kill off that parasite, but you have to be patient. You have to be consistent and you have to be patient again. And you have to do this consistently and you, you know, and you're going to see results, but you just have to be patient. So I just wanted to come on here today and, um, give you guys that I've been on here now for 11 minutes and, you know, I never take long to give you, I, I, I never go over like 15, maybe 20 minutes. And that some people may say, that's a short video, that's a short video. But you know what? When I come on here, it may be a short video. It may be 15 minutes. It may be 10 minutes. It may be 12 minutes. Who knows? But I give you so much positive information. I give you so much greatness. I give you so many things in that short amount of time that you can absorb and keep it for life. You can ha ha have this... Um, I suggest when you all see me on here that you write things down, go back, you know, go back with your finger and write things down, jot things down, because a lot of times I'm not going to have time to put it in a description box, but go back and jot it down and keep you a book on every, every recipe I give you, everything that I give you, write it down so that you guys can have this for your family, your children and your children's children, get you a little book, a little tablet. I have over way, way over 10,452 regimens. I have way over 10,000 um, recipes on how to rejuvenate the body, how to heal the body that I have been practicing for me and my family. I've been practicing it since I was in eighth grade and now I am almost 55 years old. Um, there's not a plant on earth that has not rejuvenated my body. There's not a plant on earth that has not helped me in some form of way from the head to the toe. So this is why I come on YouTube just to let you guys know um, plants are your friends. Okay. And with that being said, I'm going to get off of here now because I have to braid my hair. And this is just a self-care day, you know, but this video was about food poisoning, bad food. Um just bad food. You got to know how to get it out of your body. If you're going to eat it, you know, and sometimes you can just go someplace and have a salad. <clears throat> you can get food poisoning like that. But at least from this video, you know how to get rid of it now, right? <laughs> you know, uh, the worst thing is to be, is to not have knowledge on how to heal your own body. That's the worst thing in the world is not to have knowledge on how to heal your body not to know what herbs to go to, not to know what to have in your, your, your cabinets. Uh, so the basic things that you should have in your cabinets, always keep Manuka honey, garlic cloves, oil of oregano and activated charcoal. Baby, those are things that you need. Okay. And what you guys do for my videos, just go and research things, you know, don't let the research stop with my video, go and research and research and research and you know just knowledge knowledge is power uh i've been researching <laughs> uh since 1980 okay um and it hasn't stopped yet okay so if you like this video like subscribe comment 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 and share share this video on all your platforms whatever you got out here in the world because listen if this video can help you it surely will be able to help someone you know. The world is too big for this video not to help anyone. Come on, that's not even being realistic, right? So, and I try to do videos where all my videos make sense, that they are common sense, that they can help someone. Um, show it to your 
all my videos are for children. All my videos uh, are for children, are for kids, for teenagers, because it's about health. It's about wealth. It's about rejuvenation. My videos are about uh, healing your bodies, knowing how to heal thyself. Okay. So yeah, that's it. And let me go and, um, my knee is feeling really good right now because that pain set that I have, I tell you also my pain cream, what it does, it pulls out the inflammation. So if it's any inflammation in my knee, which I think it is, uh, my pain cream set actually pulls it out. But this batch, this batch of pain cream that I, that we made, when I tell you, it's like you have stuck your foot in uh, a bucket of cayenne pepper. Uh, <laughs> it does the job, okay? And it's all natural. It does the job. And, and it makes you, it makes your pain feel, just go away. Like, I, I, you know, I shock myself sometimes, okay? But with that being said, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'm just looking a hot mess today. I got to braid my hair. I have to put my cucumbers on my eyes because I stayed up late. <sighs> yeah. I got a lot to do today. Um, I got to take my sea salt bath. I got to do my spirulina drinks. I got a lot to do. Okay. So I will talk to you guys later. Peace and blessings.